So we're out today monitoring uh, populations of regal fritillaries in at Kankakee Sands and Beaver Lake Prairie State Nature Preserve. We're using uh, volunteers, it's citizen science, and we've been doing this work for four years. We'll probably continue it for a couple more years. This is a butterfly that requires open prairie, which is fire dependent, but fire kills the butterfly in its larval stage because it's down in the grass around me. So when that's consumed, it uh, kills the caterpillars. So the idea is that in this contiguous landscape, we want to see how the fire impacts the butterfly. And by monitoring it over several years across about 18 sites on the property, we can correlate what's happening to populations at the local level then with the fire history and, and see how the butterfly is adapted to that management. The Regal Fritillary is uh, one of the rarest butterflies in Indiana. And I honestly um, did not think the butterfly would survive in Indiana. One of our strategies though in performing this restoration around Kankakee Sands was to give the animals, plants and animals that were trapped on these little islands of uh, native habitat room to expand out. And the Regal Fritillary has just done exceptionally well. It has uh, colonized almost the entire restoration. Its host plants uh, are various species of violets and they do well on the restoration as well. And the butterflies simply followed them out onto the plantings and um, taken over the, the site, essentially. It's, it's the most common butterfly now at the Kankakee Sands Restoration. So the Regal Fritillary has a, a really interesting life cycle. It lays more eggs than any other butterfly I'm aware of uh, in, in North America. And the, the females fly over the prairie. They don't actually lay the eggs on the, the violet host plants. They scatter them in this prairie and there are enough violets in here that the tiny little caterpillars then will find the violets on their own. So the females, which are flying right now, they'll lay eggs in about a month, at the end of July, early August. Those eggs will hatch and the caterpillars will then find a place to hide for the rest of the summer and through the winter. They're down in the thatch, you know, hundreds of thousands of those caterpillars. Most of them don't make it through the winter, but a few do. When things start to warm up, the violets start greening up in the spring, and then uh, the caterpillars find those, start feeding, and by May, they're pretty big caterpillars, about this big. They pupate, and by June, mid-June and early July, you have the butterflies flying, which is what we're out counting today.